ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఆన్ సర్జికల్ స్పెషలైజేషన్స్ సుషుతాస్ వర్క్ లైడ్ ద గ్రౌండ్ వర్క్ ఫర్ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ సర్జికల్ ఫీల్డ్స్ ఈజ్ డీటెయిల్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ లైక్ ప్లాస్టిక్ సర్జరీ ఆప్తమల్ ఆప్తమలిక్ సర్జరీ అండ్ ఆర్థోపెటిక్ ఇంటర్వెన్షన్స్ కంట్రిబ్యూట్ టు ద డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ సర్జికల్ డిసిప్లైన్స్ మెడికల్ ఫిలాసఫీ సుషుతాస్ రైటింగ్స్ ఎం కంపాస్ నాట్ జస్ట్ ప్రాక్టికల్ మెడికల్ నాలెడ్జ్ బట్ ఆల్సో ఫిలాసాఫికల్ ఇన్సైట్స్ ఇన్ టు ద నేచర్ ఆఫ్ హెల్త్ డిసీజ్ అండ్ హీలింగ్ He is holistic approach emphasized the interconnectedness of the body, mind and environment. Patient-centered care. Sushita has advocated for patient-centered care where the well-being and preference of the patient, patient were prioritized. His teachings emphasized the importance of empathy, communication and shared decision-making in medical practice. The Sushita Samhita includes detailed illustrations and diagrams of anatomical structures, surgical procedures and medical instruments. These visualites enhance the understanding of medical concepts and techniques. Sushita's contributions extended to medical education and curricular development. His teachings formed the basis of educational programs for aspiring physicians and surgeons, shaping the training and skills of future healthcare professionals. హిస్టారికల్ కంటిన్యూటీ సుషితాస్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఆన్ మెడిసిన్ పెర్సిస్టెడ్ త్రూ సక్సెస్ సక్సెసివ్ జనర జనరేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ హీలర్స్ అండ్ స్కాలర్స్ హీస్ టీచింగ్స్ ఫర్ ట్రాన్స్మిటెడ్ ఓరలీ అండ్ త్రూ రిటర్న్ టెక్స్ట్ ఎంజూరింగ్ ద కంటిన్యూటీ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఓవర్ సెంచరీస్ హీలింగ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్స్ సుషిత రికగ్నైజ్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ క్రియేటింగ్ హీలింగ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్స్ conducive to recovery he recommended measures such as clean air natural light and peaceful surroundings to support the healing process medical ethics in research susurta emphasized ethical standards in medical research and experimentation his writings underscored the importance of informed consent respected for human dignity and ethical guidelines for conducting medical studies cross disciplinary collaboration Sushita's approach to medicine encouraged collaboration among different healthcare disciplines. He recognized the value of integrating knowledge from diverse fields such as anatomy, pharmacology, psychology and spirituality. Global recognition and appreciation. Sushita Maharshi's contributions to medicine continue to be celebrated globally. Medical institutions, institutions academic societies and healthcare professionals honor his legacy through conferences, lectures and research initiatives focused on ancient medical transition and innovations. Thanks for Shushita Samhita in addition to surgical techniques also provides insights into herbal treatments for various elements let me explain with examples of herbal treatments mentioned mentioned in the text neem neem is considered a versatile medicinal plant in ayurveda shushita samhita mentions it used in treating skin conditions such as seizma psoriasis and asian due to its anti inflammatory and anti microbial properties neem leaves or oil may be applied topically or consumed internally for their therapeutic effects turmeric turmeric is widely used herb in ayurvedic medicine for its potent anti inflammatory and antioxidant properties sushita samhita recommends turmeric for managing various inflammatory conditions including arthritis wounds and digestive disorders it may be consumed orally or applied externally in the form of paste or poultice Ashwagandha Ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb known for its ability to alleviate stress improve immunity and enhance vitality Sushita Samhita mentions it used in treating conditions such as insomnia anxiety and fatigue Ashwagandha root powder or extract may be consumed orally as a tonic or in decoction form Trifala Trifala is a traditional ayurvedic formulation consisting of three fruits amlaki bibitaki and haritaki Sushita Samhita described trifala as a rejuvenating tonic and a laxative that promotes digestive health detoxification and overall well-being it is often consumed in powder or capsule form next one is brahmi brahmi is a renowned herb for promoting cognitive function memory and mental clarity sushita samhita recommends brahmi for enhancing intellect concentration and overall brain health brahmi may be consumed orally as a powder decoction or in the form of a brahmi oil for topical application next one is tulsi tulsi or holy basil is a revered for its medicinal properties in ayurveda sushita samhita mentions tulsi as a potent herb for boosting immunity relieving reciprocatory elements and promoting overall health and vitality tulsi leaves may be consumed fresh braved as a tea or used in herbal formulations aloe vera is a succulent plant known for its healing properties particularly for skin conditions sushita samhita recommends aloe vera gel for shooting burns wounds and skin irritations due to its cooling and anti inflammatory effects aloe vera gel may be applied topically for its therapeutic benefits these are 
just a few examples of herbal treatments mentioned in Sushruta Samhita. The text provides a comprehensive guide to utilizing various herbs and plants from promoting health, treating diseases and restoring balance in the body. As always, it's essential to consult with a qualified healthcare practitioner before using any herbal remedies, especially if you have underlying health conditions or or taking medications. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share and comment on this video.